Hey, so I just got a new addition to the garage gym. It is the Titan Fitness wall mounted pulley system. This is the short version. This is the version 3. And I'm going to do an unboxing and assembly video. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, a channel focused on fitness tips and product reviews for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, consider subscribing below. All right, so I just got the Titan Fitness cable tower, uh, the way that Titan Fitness uh, has named it is the wall mounted pulley short version three. I'm not sure why on the box it says tall as well. Uh, but this is the short version. Um, I actually also have the tall version over there. But the reason I got the short version is because I'm trying to create a cable crossover between the two units. And the issue I ran into doing that was that I'm going to mount it underneath my garage door uh, opener or, or whatever the track here. And one side is slightly lower than the other. And if I got the tall version, it wouldn't fit on one side. So that's why I got the short version. I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing and uh, go through the assembly with you. So first things first, we'll just take a look at the box here. You can actually see that uh, it does seem to be slightly curved. Hopefully that doesn't mean that uh, the unit itself is damaged. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead, I mean, the, the boxing looks fine to me other than that. We'll go ahead and uh, take it out and see what's on the inside. All right, so this is how it looks once I took the, the, the top off. Uh, it looks like things are packaged pretty well in there. I'm going to go ahead and start taking all the bubble wrap off and lay all the parts out. All right, so I just sat all of the components out on the ground um, and we'll take a look at them here. Uh, looks like everything is in good shape. Couldn't see any issues as I pulled everything out of the box. Um, but you can see all the different components there. And it comes with, you see inside there, you got the uh, hardware. Um, you got a bag of pulleys. Uh, actually, the first thing I'm gonna do before I start uh, assembling is I'm actually gonna lubricate all these pulleys. Um, I did a previous video, which you can check out above, about lubricating these, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. Uh, but I do think that that helps quite a bit for making this smoother. Um, and then I'll get into uh, assembling this. I will note that there is a little owner's manual. Uh, I think it does have instructions on assembly. But if it's like the last one I put together, the instructions were not very good. So hopefully this video could be helpful as you assemble, you assemble your unit. All right, so I just went through and lubricated all the pulleys and uh, I was pretty surprised to see how different some of these pulleys were um, and frankly pretty disappointed in them. Um, you can actually just see, hopefully you can see from here, that you know, the inside of the pulleys, I mean, that's really what counts. It's like the inner part. This one is the best of all of them. And you can see that it's all metal components in there. And it spins definitely the best. Um, I kind of sorted them into categories. Like, these were the, the best that they would spin the best. This is kind of in the middle. And then these ones down here are pretty bad. Um, so I'll show you uh just some of the difference like you can see this is this is the worst one this is the best one that one's got all the metal components and this one pretty much all the other ones have this plastic inner part here 
And I think that's that's really where these pulleys are, are, are kind of terrible. So I'm just going to show you a quick comparison as I spin these and you'll see uh, what I'm talking about here. So this is the best one uh, and you'll see I just hold on either side and I spin it. Okay, so it's still spinning. Do that again. I'll flip it over do the same thing. Sometimes they spin a little bit better on one side as opposed to the other. One more time. All right, and now I'll show you the other one. This is the worst spinner of them all. It basically doesn't spin. Flip it over to the other side. So there you have it. So, like I said, you know, I think the pulleys are the most important part in a cable machine because that's really going to affect how smooth uh, it is. So I'm pretty disappointed in those. I think from the other cable machine I had when I did a video on that, you can check that one out up above, uh, that I think those pulleys were pretty consistent. They still weren't the best quality. I actually have the lap pull down as well, and that one had the, the best quality pulleys on it. Um, so it is disappointing. It seems like they have been cutting corners a bit with the pulleys, uh, and that is gonna affect the performance. But now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the unit. All right, so I'm following the directions. Step one says to assemble the base of the unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. One note I mentioned is I just sorted out all of the hardware uh, and made sure you know it lines up with what is on my hardware list. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble that. All right, so I put the base together and now I'm going to attach the rail and the uh, plate holder. All right, now I'm going to attach the other rail along with the adjustable arm. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on. I already placed the first part there. And then you add the mount portion to the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and route the cables. Fortunately, I've done this before and I have uh, the other cable machine here as my example. But if you want to see how to route the cables, check out my other video I had posted previously, and that should help you out. All right, so I finished routing the cables and that completes the assembly of the unit. Um, like I said earlier, I think the, the weak point is going to be the pulleys, but I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh, I'll probably end up mounting it tomorrow, and then I'll, I'll put it to use, uh, see how it performs. So you can stay tuned for a, a follow-on review um, I plan to do a comparison between the short version and the tall version. Um, I have noticed a few little differences and I'll probably post another video uh, just going over the cable crossover configuration I have in the garage gym after I mount them. So let me know in the comments below if you got any questions between now and then and we'll see you next time.